fair to say how multiple sclerosis starts for a patient varies, you know, very much from patient to patient. Really no two people can probably say that their MS journey is actually the same. And we have to keep that in mind when we think about initial symptoms. But also, you know, we do know because we've been studying MS for a long time, that for a lot of patients, the first symptoms relates to their vision. So problems with vision, uh, such as maybe eye pain, such as blurred vision, a double vision, or, or loss of color vision, for instance. Uh, for other patients, it may be more motor related symptoms. So they may find that they have tingling or numbness anywhere in their, in their limbs. And that also could be manifest as, as pain or spasm as well. And that's really common in the, you know, in the fingers, in the feet, in the arms, uh, and, and elsewhere in the hands. Um, other patients may feel that it's weakness or tiredness or fatigue that is their first symptom. And that's a much harder symptom to, to relate, of course, to multiple sclerosis as well. And then finally, I would also say that you might see the first symptoms being, you know, balance issues or dizziness or making it difficult to walk. There's a lot of signs and symptoms that go along with MS, but also these could be attributed to other conditions. So the sooner that you know patients can be seen, can be fast-tracked to neurology and can get a diagnosis, I think it really helps you to understand exactly what you're dealing with. Well, MS really does have very, very different phases for patients. Um, and those usually start with relapsing or remitting MS for the majority of patients, but not for all patients. And some patients may have a progressive form of the disease right from the very start. For the patients who do start with relapsing or remitting MS, it's quite likely over time that for the vast majority of patients, the uh, MS will transition into a secondary progressive form of the disease as well. And, you know, rightly so, as you move through those stages, you have different symptoms that may come to the fore. And those symptoms may start off initially as focusing maybe more on, on vision, or tingling or numbness or dizziness, and then are, are quite often progress over time to include bladder issues, cognitive issues, uh, and sexual dysfunction as well. Um, as patients transition then, of course, to secondary progressive MS, they may have increasing issues with their mobility and with spasms and with difficulty walking as well when we look at the treatment of MS, that we do everything we can to minimize the disease progression. So being able to go and have an early diagnosis really helps you to manage that, uh, those discussions with your healthcare professionals so that you can choose what the best treatment is and how best to approach your MS with your set of, uh, of um, symptoms and circumstances. We have so many resources available nowadays for, for patients with MS to be able to refer to and take a look at and get advice um, it's not just, of course, the websites that charities might set up, but also we have livinglikeyou.com, which is another great resource where patients can, can review the information and look at the signs and symptoms that are detailed there. And, and at least it'll give them a feeling whether this could be MS or, or something else uh, in their, in their uh, disease journey.